Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Art of Rally. Last time we be, we did the two stages, the first two stages of 1986 Finland, the Finland uh, Rally, and that was quite nice, but we ended up on last places due to my inability to properly control my own car and constantly just messing around on the road. So let's repair this car. And let's hope that this time around we will get a better score. I wouldn't say that this car is as difficult to control as the... What was it called? The Rotary something? B7 or Rotary B2? I can't remember. I wouldn't say it's as difficult to control as that car. But at the same time it's not a particularly pleasant car to control either. Like the rotary was just a fucking nightmare. All, all, uh, all things considered, I thought I was really going to mess up big time with it. E even though with the rotary, I, I ended up uh, ultimately on better places than I end up with this car. I think the, the, <clears throat> the offset of for that was that the rotary was really speedy and ha had really high acceleration. So I could really make up for my incompetence with really good times because of my of my constant uh, acceleration. Whereas with this car, I don't even have that, and it just controls like fucking crap. <coughs> if there was anything I could change about this game, is I would change the controls of the cars. The cars controls with such huge delays. And they constantly skid around, like, I don't get why they do that. I just don't. Like, why do they skid around so much? Like, the the ground isn't made out of ice for crying out loud. This is supposed to be gravel. Or, I, I don't know what's supposed to be. It's supposed to be bitum or something. But it's supposed to... It's supposed to... Last, for crying out loud. Like, it's supposed to have really good... Uh, friction so that the car isn't doesn't feel like it's uh, it's constantly skating on the ground it's supposed to ride on the fucking ground like the tires are supposed to to stick to the ground for crying out loud the the roads in this game really don't feel like that it, the, the roads feel, really feel like they're made out of ice and the car is constantly sleeping and that's not normal <coughs> That's not how... Oh my fucking god. That's not how cars work. Why is the car constantly sliding on the goddamn f fucking road like this? Like, this is not how roads work. I do, I, I've never been in a rally race, to be honest with you, but I'm pretty sure this is not how the the roads worked at all like this is the first GOG game which I genuinely the regret having purchased and it's not because of the graphics or anything like that it's because of the fucking controls like the cars just control in a really odd way Just a little bit further and we're done. Like the sceneries are so pleasant to look at. I just wish that we could... I just wish we could free roam on the maps. Instead of having to drive through them. I just free roam as much as you want and just enjoy the sceneries. <coughs> that would have been an improvement. So at the end of the day we ended up on 8th place. 8th place is pathetic but at the same time it's better than last place. So I'll take it. Let's move on. We're on stage 4 now.
Yeah, let's uh, let's start. I really like the 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 sun glare effects in this game admittedly. Like I find them quite uh, pleasant to look at. Come on car, I shouldn't be having to fight with you. Like you should be like skidding is something normal when you're driving at really high speeds. I I admit that. But I'm barely fucking uh, up reaching up up 70 miles per hour like this sh this shouldn't be the speed at which my car fucking skids around like it's fucking made out of ice oh fuck you well that's going to be a nightmare to fucking recover for whoever uh, is unfortunate enough to have to recover my car from the goddamn river or lake or whatever the fuck this is <coughs> is a leak probably I don't fucking know are there are there any experts of Finland of geography in the comments please let me know if this is a fucking river or, or a lake honestly I don't really care that much so you might as well not bother but uh, I, I'm just a, a, a teensy bit uh, curious Okay, we're finally done. And surprise, surprise, we are on last place again. Fucking hell. Oh my fucking god, I hate this. And finally, on the last stage of Finland in 1986. Let's just get this over with. Yes, we will. I will fit in a third race in this one video. And it's going to be a night drive, not no no, um, no less. Yeah, let's start. But first, let's do the repairs and now let's begin the stage. So, as far as night drives are, are concerned, I really don't uh, hate them. Unlike many dark levels in video games, the night drives in this game are acceptable, or at least they're not much, m much worse than the day drives. Because ultimately the difficulty in this game comes from controlling your car rather than anything else. The lack of sunlight really doesn't impact anything, in my opinion. <clears throat> Although with people that... Uh have issues with claustrophobia, I can imagine that the night uh, stages are probably a bit more difficult because uh, your field of view is quite limited due to the headlights that need to be on. And the head headlights, while they have a wide angle, 
they still limit your visibility by a lot. So I can definitely understand that there might be people who would take issue with that. But it's just the game, this it's just the way this game is, uh, you know, like if it's night time you, you rely on your headlights for visibility anyway, so that's just normal. So let's go just a bit further. The skidding around is absolutely ridiculous though. In this game. If nothing else, if you're not gonna going to change anything other than the controls in this game, at the very least, tone down the skidding. Have the have the have the tires properly uh, make contact with the road and stick to the road. Like this, this road. If these roads are made out of ice, then they shouldn't. The car shouldn't skid around on them like this. Maybe make this the effect only when you are driving on rainy days or when there's water on the road and then it makes sense like there's less contact between the the tires and the fucking road but as it as it stands it makes no sense for the scar for the car to skid like this like this is just ridiculous I don't think any of the developers of this game are actually listening on this to my video series. If you if you are listening then I'm really happy that you made the game. But still please reconsider the the lack of traction between the tires and the road in this game. Like this is this is a physics issue which I really do dislike. Like the game is well made. I really like the graphics, I really like the sound design, I really like the music as well. But the controls and particularly the skittishness of the car is just... It, it's it's something I, 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 I just cannot get used to. I've been playing throughout the entire game, I think I'm like at 80 or 90% of the game right now and I still haven't gotten used to it. So at this point we ended up on 7th place which is probably the best that I did throughout the 1986 Finland uh, uh, rally, so it's at least a, a, a slightly bit better. Yeah, we are on 9th place with, with Lechink B. And uh, just to give you an idea of what the, other, what the AI could accomplish with Lechink B, David Tovar, which is on 6th place, also used the same car that I did, but he ended up on 6th place, whereas I'm on, on ninth place. So, so, so did Bjorn Gardewald, which is on 7th place. So these two mastered the car way better than I ever could. That's just to give you a reference. Ninth place really fucking sucks, all things considered. I think this is even worse than how I did with the the Rotary B7. And now we move on to the second rally of 1986, which will take place in Japan. So that's pleasant. We haven't been in Japan for quite some time, so I'm really happy that we returned there. And I really, really love the view of the of the Obsakura trees. Yeah, I think this is fine. Anyways, that, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I have a Mastodon account as well as a Matrix room that you can join if you want to contact me. 
details of which you, can, you will find in the description of this video and in the meantime thank you very much for watching and see you next time